Sure. Number 100, 101, and 102 is Stephanie Renee Watson. Okay, you got a, uh, first of all, I didn't show up on February 26th for a alcohol intoxication, new charges, disorderly conduct, uh, disregard traffic control device on February 28th, on February 27th, assault, fourth degree domestic violence. Please, you're not guilty to all these charges. You're going to need a lawyer. Can you afford one? No, sir. Point the public defender. Which one is the domestic? I think 103 is a different case. Oh, I'm sorry. It is. I'm sorry. 100. Oh, I missed. I went the wrong way. Sorry about that. You got a begging charge on the other one. Well, I'll give you three days on each one. Total of six, nine. How about that? Total of nine. Three different cases. Three different days. Okay, all right, that's it. Merge everything else. Thanks. I'm say that scene Number 64 is Stephanie Renee Watson. Is that your full name, ma'am? Stephanie Renee yes, Watson? Yes, ma'am. And what's your uh, date of birth? 5679. You're charged with the. Uh, felony offense of assault third degree. You're also charged with disorderly conduct and you will need an attorney to represent you. Will you be able to hire an attorney, ma'am? Um, yesterday I was already given time for the disorderly conduct. Maybe on another disorderly. There was an error in the coding and so they let her plead without realizing there was an assault third because it was originally coded as okay. a disregarding traffic. So did we set aside her plea on the... Yes, yeah. when they realized it. Has it been set aside? Yes. Okay, so actually you were not... We set aside your plea because it was improperly coded on the felony assault third. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you and give you a court date. Uh, your court date will be next Tuesday, March the 10th at 8.30. And your bond on this charge would be 5000 full cash blanket, which means you have to post a $5,000 bond to get out. Okay? Thank you. I also have number 26, Watson. Stephanie Watson. Stephanie Watson, 26 on the docket. Stephanie Watson. Judge, plus just come out. We have a request for an order for medical testing. Do you have any opposition to that? I, I do. I have a, a request to continue when we get to Stephanie well. Watson, Ms. Watson's in court with counsel. Ms. Smith uh, on for a preliminary hearing. Uh, Ms. Smith, how are we going to proceed today? Our request is to pass the case one week um, so that I can determine why she was arraigned twice after it appears that she pled guilty the first time she was arraigned. I have she no pled guilty to assault third degree I'm felony? Not, I can't say what happened at this point. That's why I'm asking for a week. I've just never seen anything like this. Um, three, two, three, three. I've got on March 2nd, she was arraigned. And then it's got arraignment. Charge number two is incorrect, and that she was apparently arraigned. Maybe that was chart two A. What if we what if we got a guilty plea? Yes. What they did in the case is this charge here. Uh huh. They have it looks like count two. Count two is disregarding a traffic control device, all right, which was, should have been an assault third degree. So they came back. Is that what they did? Yes. They came back and charged you correctly with the assault third. So what, apparently she's arraigned incorrectly on the disregard, as disregarding a traffic control device, which should have been the assault third. 
I think that we're both on the same page there. Mm -hmm. There's just more I would like to know in okay. terms of the actual proceedings. She, we're not asking for bond relief. I feel like she's, she should be served out based on what happened the first time she was arraigned, but we'll reserve that issue for when we return if the court will allow us to pass the case. Mr. Rothrock, did you have a request? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I have a request for an order for medical testing. And what is it based on? Um, based on the fact that the defendant allegedly um, spit in an officer's face. Okay. I, I object. I don't know that that's a basis at all for medical testing. And I, I, don't even... I think it'd probably be appropriate for an AIDS. Yes. Is that what or, or H hepatitis. HIV or hepatitis. Or hepatitis. Have a copy of the motion. The what? I, I was just seeing if there's a copy of the motion. It's a oral motion. It's an oral motion. Order for medical testing based. On, let me see. Let me see what. Let me see the case chart. Mm -hmm. Is on the citation. I, I won't read the whole thing unless you want me to. I, I know what it says, Your Honor. <laughs> Subject spit in the face of Corporal Duff and I. Yes, and I think the basis of the motion is it's probably based on the Mulliken case from 2011, which says where the officer had some kind of a substantial fear that someone was spitting on him, as opposed to within a, a detention Well, that, that, that's an assault issue, but this is a different issue. This is a medical test. It doesn't go to the assault. This goes to. Uh, hepatitis or HIV issue. I think that's totally different. So I'm going to sustain the oral motion for medical testing. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, I think the, if, if the spitting, whether or not that uh, has anything to do with the assault third, that's totally different from the medical request. Today is the... Uh, okay. Okay. Ms. Watson, we'll see you back next week, ma'am. Thanks. That should conclude then our no, felony Judge, duck. Ms. Smith has Ms. Watson. Ms. Smith has Ms. Watson. <laughs> Stephanie Watson, number 29 on the docket. <laughs> Stephanie. It's on for a hearing, Mr. I'm assuming so. I don't know for sure, Judge. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Matter of uh, Stephanie Watson. Ms. Watson, you want to have a seat, ma'am? Is in court. Counsel, Ms. Smith. Party's on for a preliminary hearing. Call the first witness. If you'd raise your right hand, officer. You solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Have you seat, please, Miss Truth. If I may, Judge, I need to make a record about a couple of matters um, before we begin the hearing. It is my motion to reinstate the judgment entered on March the 2nd during the arraignment docket when my client played guilty. I don't know. Maybe. What have we got? Miss Truth, you know anything about That's this? Just last week, Your Honor, there was a clerical error, and instead of the assault third charge, is incorrectly um, coded as a disregarding traffic control device. Mm -hmm. Ms. Watson had entered the plea, I believe, at arraignment. Then when it was realized that there was a code <coughs> error, that was set aside. And I believe that's what the objection is to. Okay, so she entered a plea to what? Disregarding a traffic control device? Yes. Okay. The case jacket, to be clear, indicates that that second charge was dismissed merge. The record itself is a little bit unclear as to whether she pled to both. But either way, pursuant to Workman, to Sanibello versus New York, to... You want to, you want to continue Johnson. this? I'll take a look at it if you want to continue. I haven't seen anything. I don't know what's going on. Miss True, anybody, either one of you have any case law? I do not have any case law. Miss Smith, you got any case law? She detrimentally relied on the agreement and should be out of jail. Well, was the agreement work. Was the agreement to plead guilty to a disregarding traffic control device? in exchange for a dismissal of the uh, assault third-degree charge? 
I, there, believe, I wasn't present at the arraignment, Judge, but that's my understanding. There, there, there was no assault three charge when she pled guilty. Then, was, then this is then this is the assault third that she hasn't pled anything on the assault third, right? They didn't state the charge. It was charge number two, which had been dismissed, merged, or pled to, was then amended mm -hmm. to charge two a. It, our argument is this was a final judgment. She has served out. It cannot be undone. Pursuant to a host of constitutional issues, but she detrimentally relied on it. There's a lot of case law that discusses I, when I, someone. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on a second. What, she was never charged with assault third degree, right? The, and I want to be perfectly clear with the court. The arrest citation notes that she was. The UOR code is correct. The statute is correct. For whatever reason, it was noted as this traffic charge. That's well, actually supported on the site. Uh, here, here's what I'm going to do. I don't have anything. I don't have any law. Let's go ahead. I'm going to hold the hearing. If you want to file a motion to dismiss later on. Judge, we may be better off just to dismiss without prejudice and have the officer refile the charge. Okay. We can do, we can do it that way. You want to do that? Is that motion of the county attorney? Yes, to dismiss without prejudice okay. at this point in time. Uh, let's see. Then we've got... That's the only charge she has pending, then. Is that correct? I'm sorry, Judge. That's the only charge she has pending on today's docket? Uh, yes, my understanding because is... Because disorderly conduct, second degree, that's count one. What happened to that? She pled guilty and she maintains that can't be for charge. Okay, so she's pled guilty to disorderly. She's pled guilty to disregarding a traffic control device. Possibly. Sir, if I could, if I could, sir, on that charge, on the, there was no traffic stop on this case. She was accused of stumbling in the traffic. We're going to take care of it, all right? We're going to dismiss without prejudice. Count yes, and then I'll have the officer go upstairs and refile. Okay. Count 2A, dismiss without prejudice. Count 2A, all right? That's the assault third degree. Okay? We'll take care of it that way. Right. And she's released on her own recognizance on this case. Well, she, there is no case. Okay. It's true there is no okay. case right now. So she's not, as of now, she's not being right. held on anything. All right? okay. If she's already resolved count, count one, and I'm not sure about what this count two is, but she count two A, the assault third degree, there is no, and apparently never has been, an assault third degree. We maintain it can't be indicted, but we'll take that up. I'll take that up. That has been dismissed without prejudice, and my understanding is the officer is going to refile. All right? Go we'll file. Thank you, officer. Okay. Now, anybody else here on a felony preliminary hearing matter? All right. Gosh, they, they fee at a desk so they can anybody that isn't. Number 51 is Stephanie Renee Watson. Okay, you're Stephanie Renee Watson, is that correct? You're charged with assault third degree of a police officer felony. Due to the seriousness of the charge, you must have an attorney. Can you afford an attorney? My attorney is right here. Please? I think she needs. I represented her on this action previously. I offered the record objecting to arraignment pursuant to the double jeopardy clause of the 14th Amendment, section 11 of the Kentucky Constitution, and many, many other laws that I have not had the ability to research yet. I know the court is going to arraign my client, but I just wanted to make a record of that and I'm going to for her release, even if the court allows the case to proceed. Well, I'm confused. Why do you think you've already represented her on this? On February, I will keep it very simple, but on February 28th, she was arrested and Essentially, I believe the way the county's described it, and I don't necessarily have any gripe with how they've described, described it, something was incorrectly coded, but the assault three charge, which was reflected on the citation, was not on the case jacket. She was made an offer at arraignment and pled pro se, from what I can tell, from the record. She, uh... And then to, to the traffic charge, possibly the traffic charge. You can't tell if she pled when you watch the video. It shows up as dismissed merged on the case jacket. But somehow or another, I think the file says arraignment set aside, and she was arraigned again, and it was amended to assault third. And essentially yesterday we appeared, and the county moved to dismiss without prejudice. 
She it got her. What? Two weeks ago, she was in court. Three weeks ago, uh, three charges. The assault third was improperly coded as disregarding a traffic control device. She pled guilty to time served to disregarding a traffic control device. She was never arraigned on an assault third, and that charge was never brought before the court. It was after court the clerk's notice. It was actually a felony, so they redid the warrant for her. And that's what this is. She's always been charged with only two offenses. Who, who was she in front of on these charges? That was Judge Bell's court a couple weeks, a few weeks ago. On the 2nd of March, and then she was arraigned the following day, and we were before Judge Clinton yesterday. So, I mean. And she pled in the 3rd Division? Or was it the 3rd Division of March 3rd? They dismissed it out of 3rd Division yesterday. They dismissed it with or without prejudice? Without. Who did? The Commonwealth? Judge Wilkie. It was on the Commonwealth's motion. All right, so the Commonwealth dismissed it without prejudice to be able to figure out what was going on? On the record, the, the indication was they were going to take another charge, and I noted that I would be contesting whether she could be charged, and we kind of left things there. I, I'm not surprised that we're standing here right now. I guess All right, so the right. disorderly conduct, second degree, that she pled mm -hmm. guilty to, yes. are you saying that that charge, which charge... Did the citation actually match the uh, assault third degree? The, the citation has no inaccuracies at all in it. The officer very clearly wrote assault third on the body of the citation. That officer entered the UOR code properly, and the statute is properly reflected. All right, well, then, then where did, which charge was improperly coded to be what? Disorder two, which was... No disorderly conduct, she pled to March 2nd at arraignment, arraignment 1, and then charge 2 appears on the case file to be dismissed merge, but when you watch the video, it's unclear if she pled, but that's a traffic charge. That was, so the so disregarding how, the traffic control device was how it was coded in on a felony? That's right. Is she that's only sitting in here on this? Uh, I believe so, yes. Basically, the, the assault third has never been before the court formally till now. Except for the complaint clearly said it was an assault third. Right. Because she was so never arraigned on that. She was never formally arraigned on that or pled guilty to an assault third. Well, you that's two different things, Mr. Hain. I don't... Oh, hold on, Ms. Smith. We're, let's not talk over each other. She may not have been pled guilty to it, but she was before the court on it because the complaint that was before the county and before the judge clearly alleged a, if you read it, an assault third degree on a probation, on a police officer, right? That's what she was in custody on, but right. But and that's what the complaint that was before the court and the complaint that was before the county. Right, and then when she was notified of her charges, she was told it was a disorderly and a minor traffic infraction. Right. So she has been before the court on it? Yes, but not formally on the assault third. Well, she was. Well, she was before the court on it, Mr. Hain. This is an odd situation. Well, it's not an odd situation. It's just a mess. It basically what happens is, if you're telling me, is I've got, here's the problem. She's a high risk, so she's not getting out. So the issue becomes, but the problem is whether or not under the law you can then turn around. Was that charge merged into the other one? The disregarding traffic control device was merged in. It, and I agree with what's on the Well, now, in the, but now hold on a minute, and a merge is really, there's no such thing as merge. A merge is a dismissal without prejudice. That's what a merge is, it's a dismissal without prejudice. For some odd reason the county likes to say merge, even though it's nothing other than a dismissal without prejudice. So at this point, the, the, even if you argued that the assault third degree was before the court, Formally, that charge was then, but it was coded wrong, it was dismissed without prejudice. Does anybody dispute that? Yes, Under the law? It was dismissed without prejudice. Yes, but if a felony, Miss, 
Ms. Smith, if a felony is dismissed without prejudice, the county has every right to bring it back. And as long as it's... As, right. I don't disagree with the court at all on that, and that was why I know that I don't have the authority or ability to have the court dismiss any felony with prejudice, and that's why I didn't... There's no way for me to do that. I, this is a... And I'm not clear as to the arguments I even have planned for this, but I just know something's so wrong with it that she pled. But she didn't. Was she wasn't at. Now, here's the. My position on it would be if she had pled to the disregarding a traffic control device, you might have an argument because she would have pled to something that was clearly, if you read the complaint and everybody had looked at what they were letting her plead to they would have seen that she was pleading to assaulting a police officer. So, but we don't have that. We just have it dismissed without prejudice. So at this point, over your objection, I'm going to waive formal arraignment, enter a not guilty plea, and set it for a preliminary hearing. She'll be before the 6th Division. Uh, she will have DPA appointed. And her next court date is going to be on March the 26th. 8.30, courtroom number three. All right, she's a high risk, so she's going to, I'm going to leave the bond where it is, flight risk threat to community. Good luck. She's reserving her right to get credit against anything that should happen in the future. She has been held on other matters, but then just this incident, so she asked me to put that on the record. All right, no problems. Good luck.